Stop the Scientology cult! Scientology human rights abuses! The Senate inquiry into the Church of Scientology. Show your support for Senator Nick Xenophon and the ex-Scientologists who are harassed, intimidated and stalked. The Church of Scientology needs to be investigated and have its tax exempt status reviewed. Hey Tojo! Nice lens, man. Hello. Stop disconnecting yes, families in the name of your religion. Tomorrow, Stop forcing children to work for long hours and no pay. How long has it been since you've had a holiday? How long has it been since you earned a decent wage? We're taking honest and hard-working Australians and swindling them and coercing them. What we have an issue with is the way that you treat your ex-members and the way that you treat your current members. Don't worry guys, I've been where you are. I've been on the inside. Did I get wins at the end of it? No. Did I lose my family at the end of it? Yes. Did I get them back? Well, kind of. You still have my cousin Fiona. I want her back. It is not her choice to be over there. Every time we have asked the police to investigate, sure she's checked in saying she's fine. However, she's been accompanied by two Sea Org members. Two handlers to tell her what to say. She is coached every single time before this happens. I was coached on how to get mother out of my own money to pay for courses. That is disgusting and deplorable and I'm here today to tell you this is going to stop. The Scientologist Larry Anderson, he made a intro video. Anyway, he's now posting on ESMB. Ah. I thought you might like to have a look. He's just come on in the last week or so. Says he's been reading it for the last couple of years and he thanks uh, anyway, his post is up there on, uh, under new people introductions. You might have a look at it. Anyone else who, uh, who likes Larry Anderson? And Mubkips. I uh, think he's a, he's a great Scientologist. Please have a look at what he has to say on ESMP. When you have support groups for people who have been traumatized by your organization, that post every single day, thousands and thousands of them, don't you think that maybe, just maybe, maybe they have something worth saying? Maybe you should just read it. Maybe you should run out of the What's org the right now. What's the reading if it's not true? Um, What's the harm in reading it if it's not true? Shouldn't you be able to process that information? Shouldn't you be able to fully analyze what's going on and go, oh, right, that makes sense? Yes. But I still believe in Scientology. Shouldn't you be able to do that? Instead, you're told that you can't even read it. You're prevented from looking into the people who have been traumatized by your organization. Uh, Reading something won't harm your case. And if anyone says otherwise, then they are trying to limit your freedom, trying to limit your ability to think. This is not an organization that has your best interests at heart. David Miscavige is laid a suit while he beats his staff. That's what they're worried about, not you. They're never worried about you. They don't really care about you. They don't care about whether you're feeling good, they care about whether you're feeling good about Scientology. And that is a big difference and you need to wake up and realize this. You know, if there's anyone in there that would rather not be in there, you can come out. He wasn't kidding about the support group. It's huge. Anyone who comes out of Scientology and needs help, we're there for you. There's an ex-Scientologist message board. All you have to do is put ex-Scientologist into Google, you'll find it. Or you can put ex-Seorg into Google, go to the ex-Seorg.com website. That gives you heaps of information also. Lots of links. Help is available. We won't let you down. And if you ask me how I'm feeling, don't tell me you're too glad to see. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna turn and loud and hurt you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna turn and loud and hurt you. Stop, son.
Scientology's forced abortion. Stop Scientology's embezzlement of the public. Stop Scientology's disconnection policy. Stop your involvement, your complicity in this criminal organization. Stop your participation in Scientology and find that the bridge to total freedom is outside. It's outside where you can do what you want, say what you want, think what you want, and there aren't a bunch of Scientologists waiting around the corner with lie detectors. We don't mind what you believe. We want you to reform how you behave. Kids in school, not on staff. Kids in school, not on staff. know that I'm a homosexual and telling them never to speak to me again, to look down when I walk past them in the alleyways. Do you remember asking me if I've had sex with animals? Sex with children? Tojo, do you remember this? Well I do. It scarred me for life, mate. It's so much better out here. You know it's true. The Church of Scientology is an evil and destructive cult that quite happily takes all of their patrons' money. Child abuse, coerced abortion, working 18 hours a day with sleep along no sleep, no pay. The Church of Scientology needs to be stopped in its tracks and told the Australian public does not accept this. Sign the petition today for an estate Senate inquiry into the Church of Scientology. South Australian Senator Nick Senefon. I say to all Australians, as you fill in your tax return next July or August, ask yourself how you feel knowing that you are paying tax and yet this criminal organisation, the Church of Scientology, is not. Do you want Australian tax exemption to be supporting an organisation that coerces its followers into having abortions? Do you want to be supporting an organisation that defrauds, that blackmails, that falsely imprisons because on the balance of evidence provided by victims of Scientology, you probably are.